right, I've decided, given the overwhelming response to my Windows 10 video regarding, you know, comparing performance to Windows 7 and 10 and how much 10 is better, I have decided that I'm going to actually, once and for all, prove which one is better of the two. I'm going to do a couple of tests, boot test, login test, open up the start menu, open up the default browser that's bundled with the particular operating system, open up a YouTube homepage, open up the YouTube homepage, open up a control panel, and shut down the system with both. And we are going to see which one is faster. I have not even tested this yet, using a ThinkPad T400 right here with a Windows 7 install that's a couple years old. And the Windows 10 machine is going to be ye old Compact Presario A900, which has had Windows 10 loaded on it for probably about, shoo, maybe five months. Something like that. All right, so let's commence the tests. I'm going to put this camera on a tripod, and we will begin. And we'll wait for it to post completely. Power on self-test is pretty fast. And we will boot up in three, two, one, start. We'll wait till we get to a login screen. As you can see, Windows 7 is definitely not the fastest thing in the world. 58.58 se 58 seconds, that's how long that took. Okay, right, now I'll take a comparison of how long it takes for me to log in after entering my password. So, three, two, one, start. Again, we aren't very fast. But keep in mind that this is a three-year-old installation. I think it's a three-year-old installation. Alright, so that's 15.88 seconds. Comparing it when I first load, I can first see the desktop, not once it loads all of the icons at the bottom. Alright, let's see how long it takes to open up the default browser for the first time. Three, two, one, start. fifteen point four six Microsoft recommends upgrading to Windows 10 isn't that nice alright now let's try loading up YouTube three two one start so trying to load an ad it appears nine point four eight seconds because I forgot to try the start menu, we are going to try to open up the start menu. This is going to be real fast. I'm not sure I can even measure this. 0 0.24. We will try opening up the control panel. 3. Actually, I'll get rid of that first. 3, 2, 1, start. 2.94 seconds. And lastly, let's try a shutdown. 3, 2, 1, start. 22.93 seconds. So overall, it would appear as though Windows 7 on this system is actually running very slow. Or it seems very slow, I guess. I mean, most of the time that you're using it, you're spent waiting for it to either start up or shut down. Everything else seems to be pretty quick, you know, the fact the slowest being 15 seconds to open up Internet Explorer. That's not bad for a bloated web browser like Internet Explorer. But, let's go ahead and take a look at our Windows 10 machine and see how much better or worse things happen to be. Alright, now let's take a look at the Windows 10 machine. Like I did before, I'm going to discount the post time and any time for a boot manager to pop up, but there won't be one. So let's see what happens when we fire up the Windows 10 machine. I'm going to be fast with this. I might have to do several takes, I'm not sure. Let's start it there. This should, in theory, be much faster. 
and it looks as though that is true. It is going to be much faster. Now, oh, what's it doing? Okay, it wasn't much faster, but it certainly was faster, 38.69 seconds. How about a login test? Three, two, one, start. I will never profess to understand why it takes so long in Windows 10 to log in. I don't really care if you get that email address because I don't ever read the email that goes to it. It's just a throwaway email account that I needed to create to use the Windows 10 beta. 32.28 seconds. Almost took as long for it to log in as it did for it to boot up. Not very impressive. Now, if I can find my mouse, which might take a while because I'm not quite sure where I put it. Oh, there it is. It's hiding. We're going to try opening up the start menu. This might be really quick, but it might also not be really quick. So let's try it. Three, two, one, start. 0 0.84 seconds. All right, now how about opening up Microsoft Edge? Let's try this out. Now, I'm not sure how I've got Edge configured, so we'll see about that. Three, two, one, start. Nine point oh four seconds. Something that I probably will not be able to, uh, really compare, but it seems as though the user interface on Microsoft Edge is really, really laggy. It's just really, it seems really slow, like really latent and slow. And one thing I don't like about Edge is that the, the uh, bar is right here, not where it should be, up there. It's once again Microsoft designing a user interface that is unlike any other in their operating system. You know, reinventing the wheel when it comes down to user interfaces. They make their own and then they make something completely different with their own programs. I don't understand it, that's just the way it is. I'm not going to argue it, whatever, it doesn't matter. I'll never use Edge anyways, so. How about opening up YouTube, the YouTube homepage? Three, two, one, start. 4.18 seconds. And for the control panel test, I'm going to use the classic control panel on Windows 10 because I use the classic control panel in Windows 7, and it's basically almost the same thing. So we'll see what happens. Three, two, one, start. 1.56 seconds. And now, how about shutdown time? Three, two, one, start. 17.3 seconds. All right, taking a look at our times, it is important to make note of the differences because that is where our most important stuff is going to lie. But you can take a look at the numbers. And we can see that Windows 10 has a clear advantage, almost 20 seconds faster than Windows 7 is at boot time. That's pretty significant. However, that significance is basically negated when you consider that it is a little bit more than 16 seconds slower to log in and get to a usable desktop than Windows 7 is. Also, the start menu that people are clamoring that is all sleek and fast and shiny, well, it's about 0.6 seconds slower than that of Windows 7. A very insignificant number, but still, if you're being nitpicky, it's fairly slow. And in practice, sometimes it seems even slower than that. Like, we're talking it takes a couple of seconds to open up the start menu on Windows 10. But I'm going to ignore all that because you didn't see it on the video. Microsoft Edge seems to have Increase the speed a little bit. It's pushing on the gas pedal a little bit more. 6.42 seconds faster than Internet Explorer on Windows 7. Also, loading up YouTube takes a little bit more than 5 seconds less time in Edge than it does in IE. Do not be fooled! There are articles and there are statements online about how Edge is basically just Internet Explorer. That's all it is. It's an Internet Explorer with a new skin that may or may not be a little bit faster and glitzier and all of that. It is, quite honestly, a big gigantic turd when it comes down to that. I don't like the user interface, and for me, a user interface is what makes or breaks, makes or breaks a browser. I don't care how fast it is. 
if the user interface is poo, I'm not going to be able to use it. That's it. End of story. Let's move on here. The control panel takes about 1.38 seconds less time in Windows 10 than it does in Windows 7. That's pretty good. And the shutdown time takes 5.63 seconds less time in Windows 10. Keep in mind that I disabled fast boot. So with fast boot enabled, it should probably take even less time to start up and shut down. But that doesn't negate the, the simple fact that the biggest new feature in Windows 10, the start menu, is slower than that of its predecessor, and login time is much, much slower than that of its predecessors. All in all, these time savings and that that you get a couple seconds, it's not worth it. Use an operating system that is tried and true. There are things about Windows 10 that still just basically irk the crap out of me including the fact that they changed entirely the way that defaults are set. They changed entirely the control panel, and in fact there are two control panels, which makes things confusing. And the fact that, really, it's not faster in areas that, really, frankly, there should be no slowdown. Logging in should not have been changed at all from Windows 8.1, yet it's slower. Opening up a start menu should not have changed from Windows 7, and yet it is much slower. I'm not sure why, maybe it's trying to load all the live tiles. Probably more proof that live tiles are totally useless. But, in the interest of not turning this into a Windows 10 rant video, I'm going to conclude it with that. There are, in your, there are your numbers. Use the, your own best judgment. You can decide if Windows 10 is worth it for you. Personally, I'm not going to mess with what is tried and true on my systems. If Windows or Microsoft wants to try and load Windows 10, they could do it over my dead body. Thank you for watching. If you have any comments, feel free to leave them down below. And uh, this is CP666 signing off. I hope to see you next time. Till then. One last look at the numbers before I leave. I'm going to let these numbers sink in. Mostly because I actually want to turn on a fader, because faders are cool.